Welcome back to episode 6 of Wasteland 3, my friends. We have a lot going on this episode, and I'm very excited because we've just leveled up Lucia, and we've actually got her a new perk, which is actually really useful for the party. At level 5 weapon modding, she has the powder packer perk. Your entire party finds plus 25% bonus ammo when looting at a minimum of plus 1. So if you find like a rocket launcher ammo or something rare, then you actually get 2 at minimum. You have a 25% chance to get plus 1, essentially, which is really, really good. So we got that for ourselves, and there's actually some interesting things we can ask our friend Sheriff Daisy, which we didn't ask her last episode. What do you need, Rangers? Now that we're acquainted, we have a delicate question. The Patriarch appears in poor health, so who steps in when he dies? Why? Want me to say it should be you? Hmm, I didn't realise that was an option. The Rangers could keep... The Rangers could keep Colorado safe if we had the right friends. Say that. Well, I can't argue with that. Not even the Patriarch could go it alone. Wouldn't have got half as far without the Marshals. See, we all know the important folk around here. And we have an understanding with most of them. So whoever runs this town when the Patriarch is gone, there need to be real good friends with me. Ah, uh, better than mine. You said the next leader of Colorado will need the friendship of the Marshals. Are we friends now? I don't think we're like that friendly. I like you, Rangers. But a girl needs to be sure before she commits, if you know what I mean. We ain't quite there yet. <laughs> I'm not sure where you're going with that one. <laughs> Alright then, let's head out and see what nice we can find. Uh, Team November, come in. Hmm. This is Team November. Go ahead. Yeah. I got Ms. Wong, the manager at the Sands Lux Apartments on the line, and this one might actually be something. Says she's got a tenant who might be making bombs in... Shush, 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 let me talk to them. You're leaving out important details. Uh... It's the weirdo in apartment three. He's gonna kill us all. There's all kinds of loud banging coming from his room, and he's not alone. He's got friends in there. They're planning something, I know it. All right, we'll be right over. You will? Oh, 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 I knew you guys were better than the Marshals. Come to the Sands Lux Apartments, now! Ooh. That loony's liable to blow the whole place sky high! $150 uh, Sorry, November. Over and out. Huh? What do you mean by sorry? Well, it's... I don't know if this is like a time-sensitive thing, so it might be worth us heading over there right now. Let's have a look at the map there. But the Sands Lux Apartments are just down here. I didn't even know this area existed. Aroo! Aroo! Aroo to you, Mr. Doggo. Sands Lux Apartments. There's even an intercom here. Yeah? This is the Sands Lux Apartments? Who's there? The Desert Rangers to see Miss Wong. What? You're here? I don't believe it. We're great people. Come in! Come in! Let's go, let's go. The Sands Lux Apartments provide the finest budget accommodation in Colorado Springs. Looks charming. Here we are in the apartments. Rosie Wong is waiting for you when you enter, smoking a cigarette. She smiles when she sees you. Her teeth are the colour of caramel corn. I can't believe you came. Those goddamn marshals never come. They think I'm a pest. <laughs> I'm vigilant is what I am. V-I-G-I-L... Uh, she takes a deep drag. A-N-T. Anyhow, I hope you're ready for trouble, Rangers, because I got a situation here. I'm starting to believe this is kind of like a crazy lady. Oh, come on, Rosie. I always came when you called, didn't I? You're with the Rangers now, Quan? Well, you were one of the better ones. I'm glad you're out of that Marshall racket. What's your problem with the Marshals? Yeah, why do they think you're a pest? Because I asked them to do their job. They hate that, the lazy, fat-ass carbuncles. If they never did a lick of work in their lives, it would be too much for them. Ugh. I just realized she's a crazy cat lady. <laughs> what's your problem? Uh, yeah, what's the trouble then? The guy in room three, Irv. He's not supposed to have anybody else living there, but I hear voices in there all the time. They're always banging on stuff, and I can smell burning and bleach, and I don't know what else. Make him stop it or throw him out. 
Either one is fine with me. I mean, he could actually be making a bomb then, but I feel like the situation is a lot less chill than she made out on the phone. Have you looked inside the room? I can't. The shifty bastard's put his own locks on the door. That's how I know he's up to no good. Apartment room three. End of the long hallway. The door's on the right. I know he's up to something. I just know it. <sighs> okay, Rosie. We got it. All right, we'll get Todd to lead the way because he has plus penetration. Um, actually, can we need to loot this quickly? Ooh, wow, that luck skill though, very nice. Is this number three? Oh, I've got lockpick level five, so I can actually get in there. Let's have a quick look on this door though, before we do anything. Hello. Oh, look, there's another broken toaster. Um, second one we found, actually. Definitely worth picking up if you guys are interested in that skill. Let's go back into the hallway then. We don't actually need a key, which is interesting. We can just go right ahead and open this door. Ooh, meat pies. How to make pies from scratch by Louviette. It's just pretty much junk, though, isn't it? Right, let's, um... Yeah, the team. Molides do not compute. Oh my god, what is going on in here? We have to be careful. Half of the world, ma! One, three, five, seven, eleven. Eleven? Oh god. Do you wipe the things oh god, that trip wife is here. showing you? Oh, what? Disarm alarm failure requires sneaky shit level four. Okay, so we're going to activate that as soon as we walk in, really. But before we actually go in here, I'm going to send Kimmy around the back. Just to see if there's, like, another entrance. Apartment two. Fuck off. Hello. Frank Pappas. Thrown down huh? the Gazaman plaque. Get the fuck out of my apartment. He's not very happy to see us, though. And I was God. hoping there'd be like a way into their apartment through the back. How about apartment one? Some more loot. There's also a generator here. Interesting. Oh my god, this lady is truly a crazy cat lady there. I genuinely didn't realise the issue was that bad. There is even a drug stash here. Let's go ahead and open that and steal from it. Wow, that's a lot of Marshalls, listen up. If you won't take my noise complaint seriously and do your damn job, then I guess I'll just have to do it for you. There's been strange noises coming out of apartment three all week. People yelling and stomping around at all hours, and strange mechanical sounds. He could be making bombs for all I know. You say you need evidence? Well, Herb just left, so I'm going inside and documenting everything I find. Oh, who's there? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's Rosie Wong, the landlady. I was just checking to make sure you were okay. Why wouldn't I be okay? <laughs> oh, well, you know, the noise. I'm fine. Deadbolt locks. <laughs> She is definitely crazy. Who is this guy, though? Hello. Meet space demons intercepted. Display rendered objects and assigned to translation vectors. The hooded figure peers at you, unblinking, and proffers a simple metal case. He seems to want you to take it. Take the case. Um, thanks. Hello. Do not delete local references to object. If memory allocation is null, then unhandled exception occurs. It appears he's telling you not to open or discard the case, or you'll face some kind of consequence. He turns back to his terminals and seems to forget you're in the room. Return null. Add doxy compatible comments to the affected keys, visitor. Okay, let's have a look at these computers. They all have unrecognizable streams of code on them. Alright, let's go and try this door before we break into the final room. And inevitably set the alarm off. Down the There's some black. booze in here. Do you know where you are going to? Do you wipe the things? Okay, let's run back over here. Them. These people are actually clones of each other. I'm just Your trying to figure out how to deal with this room. Is three times so the we've obviously got this eye. trip wire that we cannot disarm, which means uh, the squad's currently outside just chilling. I 
Um, and I'm thinking maybe. Oh, there's a generator here which we can disable. Requires mechanics level three, but I'm miles away, obviously. There's a light machine gun turret here. So let's go ahead and take a shot at that with Kimmy. I'm actually going to back off a little bit here as far as possible. So I can take a safe shot from a distance. Just to 57 damage. So we've started combat now. And it is our turn. So I think Kim's already taken a shot. Let's move Todd down here. I wonder if I can try and get them out into the corridor. Put Elon Musk on Overwatch mode and end our turn. Just see what they do. Yeah, okay, they're all running towards us, which is good. That's what we want. Dead to us. Oh my god, they have a lot of AP to run all the way over here. They accidentally shot one of their friends in the back there, which is very good for us. We're going to have to get Mr. Musk out of the way here before we do anything. Um, because I don't want him to die, really. So let's get him round the corner here, I think. Right, let's get Lucia to shoot this guy a few times. And Danny can hopefully finish him off here. Nice, perfect. And then there's another guy in the corridor here. So I can get Kimmy to move over here to shoot him. And she misses, oh dear. It's not good at all. Um, okay, let's get Quan to move forward so he can shoot that guy. Does a little bit of damage, at least get in cover, and then we can send Todd over to deal with him. Let's get our hammer out though, I think. That's going to hit for his armor. So will our sword, actually. I think we'll choose our sword then. Boom. Um, okay. Put him in ambush mode then. Oh, Kimmy can take another shot for some reason. Whoa, okay, that almost killed him. Wait, she can take another shot? What's going on? Okay, she, she killed him. I don't understand why she got more action points there. That was strange. Oh, I know why. It's because of our high luck skill. So she got action points um, and we didn't realize. All right, okay. I think we're going to have to just leave it there and see what they do their turn. Of course, that turret's going to shoot at Todd. He has a lot of armor, but the energy weapons are going to ignore him. Wow, my whole team has shrunk down to the size of a pipsqueak. Todd is taking a lot of damage. The cat's going in for some. I'm going to die. Embarrassed. So first, let's move Kimmy so she can see. Then we can take a shot. Oh, she's got to reload her gun. And now she doesn't have enough AP to fire. That's not good. All right, we can get Mr. Musk, though, to shoot him. Wait, what did he hit then? He missed again. He never hits with that gun. It's so annoying. Let's go ahead and move Danny forward. And also Lucia can be forward too. And we're going to have to get Marshall Quan to jump out here. So we can actually shoot this guy. I'm going to go all in here with my critical hit. Uh, I'm actually going to shoot his arm. So he can't hit us back as much. So we crippled him there. Um, and then I can jump back and cover, I think. Meanwhile, Todd, we don't really want him to die again. So I'm actually going to move him back into cover. And I'm going to have him save his action points for next turn. Let's move Mr. Musk over here. Can't really get any cover, so we'll just move you here. Hopefully you're safe there. Send our turn. Oh, that machine gun shooting at the cat. Oh, God. Luckily, the cat is shrunk. Oh, it might not be so lucky, though. It's very lucky. It is very lucky, that cat. Holy moly. I actually forgot about the cat just sitting there and dying. That poor cat. Okay, right. Let's move back in. I'm actually going to move here. And I'm going to finish off this machine gun turret. How much health does it even have? I don't know anymore. Um, Alright, let's try and move over here and shoot this guy again. Get 
back in cover. I want to move Danny over here as well. And we're going to lay down some fire. Oh god, I accidentally killed the cat almost. Todd can also go in combat here. So if I take a lucky shot with Lucia, I reckon we'll probably be in a good position. Okay, did some damage. Right, let's get Todd Howard to run over and attack this guy then. This is going to be very risky though. So let's just go ahead and attack him normally. That only did a little bit of damage. Right, let's go ahead and defend ourselves then. Lucia still has one shot left. Oh my god, he has like one health. Right, we're going to have to end our turn with just fingers crossed. Really. Oh, luckily the machine gun turrets missed. And this guy's healed himself now. He's so tanky. Okay, he's running. He's running. What's he doing? He's missed. Thank God. He's trying to save himself. Right, I can get Kimmy to take out this um, turret finally. There we go. Turret's down. Let's get Lucia to run around the corner here. And shoot this guy. And I'm going to get Todd to come and finish him off. Come on, Todd. Are you kidding me, Todd? Let's just run Danny here, and then we can do nothing but end our turn. This guy's healed himself again? Oh, goodness me. Todd is surely dead now. Oh, my God. Wow, we're, we're very lucky. Todd's hanging on a five health. I'm amazed that this guy's still alive. Let's reload and shoot him. We missed. Finally. Todd, surely you can finish this. Oh my god. Oh, that was a hard fight. Todd is almost dead again, my friends. Alright, let's go and explore this um, area then. Pulse gun. 16 to 20 damage times 3. Ignores armor. Very, very good. Oh, clothing. You found some clothing. Try it out. Visit your barracks in Ranger HQ to customize your appearance. Oh! Keep in mind that equipping armor will cover your clothing, but you can still show off your fashion sense by toggling the visibility of your armor. So this is like a science coat. So I can actually give that to Elon. That would look pretty cool. We have three of them now since they clone so many people. Also an ammo box here. A law book. Ten grenades. My god. That's a lot of grenades, dude. There's also a pressure plate here, which we'll look at in a second. I just want to loot the entire room. Crank. Ooh, level six required. I'm going to upgrade my lock picking. Actually, I won't yet because you might be able to find a key somewhere. What is this? A clone machine. So I can clone someone if I want to. I can clone my best character, I guess. What's on this table? On the desk, you find a chaotic mess of ancient dot matrix printouts, scientific journals, and dog-eared books. Notes are scrawled upon them in, in a wild, childish hand. The computer awaits a button press. Begin experiment. Step away. Okay, before we begin the experiment, whatever that might be, what happens if I stand on this pressure pad? So that's blue. Now I get Mr. Musk to stand on this pressure pad. There's a connection happening here. It goes under the table is a bit worrying um let's get danny to disable this generator just for the experience really because that would disable the turret really there you go um let's look at the clone machine the readouts and graphics are flatlined now that the clones are dead given specialized knowledge and the right resources it may be possible to make more interesting Alright, let's go ahead and get Mr. Must to start whatever the experiment is and just see what happens. Begin experiment. 
The computer analyzes both sensors as large volumes of data fill the screen. A small thermal printer begins to spew out reams of information laden paper. The text is thick with mind-numbing scientific jargon, charts, graphs, cryptic electrical and anatomical diagrams, and some printouts reference books and notes on the table. The titles of these textbooks stand out. Cloning in our time, robotics, cybernetics and cloning, the future is now. The list continues, but one component remains the same. The name on every title page. Professor Iwin John Finister, PhD. Mission updated. Find and confront Ive with what you've discovered. Every ranger knows the name of Ivan John Finister, the director of the infamous project Darwin and an old enemy of the Desert Rangers. Rosie's tenant, Ive, has some explaining to do. Indeed he does. Wait, Kimmy also has the stink. Ain't nothing covering you up. Can only be removed by Antidote or Dr. NBC. Okay, great. Evasion minus 5%. Doesn't really matter for her, to be honest. Let's get Elon to go ahead and heal Todster. There we go. I, should I couldn't have done better myself. Thanks. <laughs> Now let's report in to this lady and tell her what the situation is inside. So, what'd you find in apartment three? My god. Was he making bombs like I said? Close. He wasn't there and it's weirder than that. Weirder how? Your tenant may be associated with a dangerous scientist. He also has a cloning machine and several copies of himself. Yeah, you were right. That's weirder than making bombs. Can I at least go in and clean up? It's not safe in there. Please stay here until we find him. <laughs> Don't blame us if you come out horribly maimed. Oh, his security deposit's not going to cover the repairs, is it? If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Okay, let's do that. Let me know what happens. I'm genuinely interested to find out what happens, and then we will. But my god, what a... I feel like whenever you deviate on what you consider to be a short side quest, the game just takes you and says, What? He's probably in the bookseller stand in Market Square. Okay. Aha, uh, here's the bookseller. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, and here's I. If you don't have, Do you have any books? A tall, lanky man is looking over books on the merchant stand, muttering nervously to himself. Hi, mind if we ask you some questions? Um, I guess. Wait, who are you? We're the ones asking questions. You're Ive, right? Um, uh, yes. What, what do you want? Are you going to arrest me? We've found some papers in your apartment written by Iwin John Finister. Is that your real name? I... Uh... He looks around nervously. Please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself. And I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. Oh boy. We were attacked in your apartments by a few guys who look just like you. Any explanation for that? I mean, he's already kind of explained it, but let's ask. Oh no! Did you kill them? I'm afraid we had to, sorry. Oh, God, poor clones. They... They never really acted right. I, I, I screwed up the formula somehow. Tell us more about these clones. Well, well, I, I guess I'm kind of mm, afraid to make friends the normal way, so I made them an abnormal way. Mm -hmm. Only I didn't do it very well. When they came out of the chamber, there was something wrong with them. They were really really stupid and, and really really crazy and they, they just got crazier day by day if if i hadn't run out of the apartment today they would have killed me oh god i'm a bad father i'm a bad bad father he's got some issues man what do you know about dr finister Oh, Dr. Finster was a genius. He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He he may have become a little paranoid at the end, but that doesn't lessen any of the good he gave to the world. Okay. Until he decided all humans had to die. He was a real humanitarian. Is Finister still alive? The original? No, 
n- not anymore, but I guess, in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too, because I'm him, aren't I? He pales suddenly and swallows. Or, uh, I mean, I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race, right? Yeah? I, I wasn't... I wasn't suggesting... No. You know the whole nature versus nurture debate? How some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way, and, 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 uh, and neither am I. I swear. You believe me, don't you? Actually, I do. We believe your story. We believe you're not smart enough to threaten the human race. Clones can't be trusted. We believe your story. Oh, thank God. So, you're not going to arrest me? We're not. In fact, if you bring your cloning machine, you're welcome at Ranger Headquarters. We could use a scientist like you. If we let you back on the Sand Lux apartments, will you promise to keep the noise down? Arrest. Sorry, you're too dangerous to be walking around free. You're under arrest. No, no, no. He's our scientist now. You're going to let me be a real scientist? This is the best. Uh, I'm so grateful. I'll do good work for you. I promise. Thank you so much. We solved two situations there for our friend, and we've got ourselves a scientist. Thanks again for letting me join the Rangers. <laughs> I'm gonna go back home and pack in a minute. And I'm just, I'm just trying to work up the courage to see my dead clones. See you at the Ranger headquarters soon. Fantastic. All right, let's go back to Rosie and tell her of the situation. I feel like we kind of hit two birds with one stone there because obviously Rosie didn't like him as a tenant anyway. So I feel like we helped her out as much as we could. Here we are. Any word on the loony and number three yet, Rangers? We found Ive, and he won't be coming back. You can clear out his room now. About time. Gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal, anyway? He's a clone, and he was afraid of being found and arrested. So he hid in his room and made other clones for friends. Ah, oh, that's kinda sad. What did you do with him? We've invited him to join us at Ranger HQ. He's going to work in our medical lab. All you need to know is that he's out of your hair, yeah. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. I hope you didn't hurt the poor man. Oh, well, she probably would have liked it more than if we said he joined us. Well, here's a little something for taking care of the problem anyway. Thank you, Rangers. Oh, my sciatica. Be seeing you, Rosie. And look, everyone's pretty much leveled up again, apart from Kimmy. So since Kimmy's now leveled up, I've put an extra point into lockpicking, so we should be able to lockpick this mysterious safe at the back of this science lab now. Here we go. What's inside? Ooh, okay. There's actually a gun. Bren, heavy machine gun. This relic was probably looted from a museum and should maybe go back there. 13 to 19 damage. And also a weapon mod that gives plus 4 damage, which is extremely powerful. Alright, the other place that we can now probably access with Danny is this place with the generator that we needed mechanics level 5 to repair. And I should be able to skill Danny into that now. Alright, go ahead and repair it for us, dude. We can finally see what's behind this door. Oh my god, a cyborg chicken, really? I'm gonna get Kimmy to say hello. While sickly and starved looking, the chicken is also unexpectedly spry. For some reason, half of its head is shelled in metal and cybernetic parts are implanted in its body. Animal Whisperer Free. Okay, so can actually give her the Animal Whisperer Free perk because there's quite a lot of chickens we're coming across and I'm very interested to see like where all these chickens are going to lead us. Hey, come with us if you want to live. It hops diagonally away from you, feathers fluffed and eyes wide with shock, but it does not take long before the chicken decides you are worthy of cooperation and begins to follow your lead. I'm not quite sure what it gives us as a benefit though, but maybe we can take it back to Ranger HQ. Even so, there's actually a chest in here that we can unlock as well, with another heavy machine gun, and an armor crate at the back here, with some pretty decent armor, some of which requires a strength stat to use. I mean, it's interesting, and at least we can collect the rest of the cyborg chickens, and maybe bring them back to the headquarters. All right, with that, let's head out. Come in Team November, Ranger HQ here. 
A squad of BAMFs rolled up to Ranger HQ. Rough mercenary types. Their leader goes by Gary Wolf. Claims to be an ex-Ranger. Hmm. Says he has news for you about your old enemy. Seems like the cutthroat take no prisoner type. Over. Now, I didn't play the previous game, so I don't know who this is. But I'm sure you guys do. BAMFs? What does that stand for? Bad-ass motherfuckers. Great. Are they causing any problems? That's a negative. Some hurt feelings and broken pottery, maybe. But they appear to be friendlies. Old enemy? No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Copy that, Ranger HQ. We'll check it out. We'll be here. Over and out. Now we have this chicken, we might as well head back to Ranger HQ. Right now. Before we actually do leave though, let's quickly check out this place because we never actually set your went time to the side. Real quick and look impressive doing it. I've got a trip. <laughs> set the tire on fire. Except Seems to be some kind of garage. Yeah, well, she's smart enough ah, and this is that. the doctor we haven't anyway, spoken to yet. And our Ranger agents, head headquarters is actually still no time. Oh my god. To keep going. Bleeding man. Can we fix this? The man is sitting, clenched teeth, in a puddle of his own blood, a hand pressed on his belly, intestines bulge from between the slats of his fingers. He won't last much longer without help. If you use your secure kits on him, you may be able to save his life. It isn't... That bad, is it? Just... flesh wound. Am I right? No, no. God, Jesus. Let's flesh talk wound. to the doctor first about this. A linebacker in a lab coat. This doctor is clearly wary, but works feverishly to bandage the bloody head of an unconscious young woman. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Understood, brother. Can I do anything to help? He gestures towards the injured patient lying nearby. They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. What can we do? His shoulders sag with relief. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. We already got the kits you wanted. Great. Then get started on those patients. First aid one. Got it. He nods, allowing himself a quiet sigh of relief, and then returns his attention to the injured woman. Alright, so we need to use our kit. Okay, one woman healed. There we go. Yeah. What's going on? Did you patch me up? Indeed I did. And then we'll use a secure kit to heal this guy up. Okay, sorted boat. You closed my wound! <laughs> I won't miss staring at my own gut. Lol. This man doesn't appear to be in much pain, but he's intensely focused on his leg. White bone shards through his skin. He's clearly broken it in several places. This may end poorly for him. You could use one of your injury kits to save Jumped him. Jumped out of a building to escape the Dorseys. Didn't count on the ground stopping me. Lol. Okay. At least you're alive, I guess. I'm taking my own injury kits and using it for these people, okay? My leg! There we go. You said it! Ugh, still hurts like a bitch, but maybe I'll actually walk again. Right, let's go back to the dock. What now? We've done everything we can for the patients. You should all pull through. They should all pull through. Good. Thank you. One we got a stethoscope. Though. I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've already done. But I need one more favor. You see this girl? She was shot in the head. But there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. What do you say? Welcome aboard, Doctor. If you don't need a doctor, we'll think about it. And then there, of course, man. Thank you. Thank you. You've saved her life. And mine. Need anything before I get my stuff together? We could use some medical attention ourselves. A lot of my men are actually kind of injured. Of course. Let's have a look. Build up a luck. Good luck. So, have I lost my injuries now? Oh, no one's injured anymore. Fantastic. It was that easy. It was worth the wait, guys. Now we don't have all those debuffs affecting us. Goodness me, that's great news. And this Let's seems hope to be you got another kind of courier plan. I give it another three months before Pesa leaves you in the dust. 
And so what if she does? It just means I gotta work harder. Ain't no shame in that. I'm gonna remind there you we go. said that. Aren't you a sight? There we go. Smooth as the devil's lies. Told them. Smaller problem than they Who's this Jimmy guy, guy then? Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far? Yeah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorseys dead if they'd walked in my garage. Haven't seen your friends before. If you folks are looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. What is this place? It's like you also repair people. Yeah? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. Is Parker a good doctor? The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity-toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning his back on his own people. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. That's really nice, man. We, we made a good, good choice there. This is, I'm the best crew in the business. Tell us about your employees. Co-workers. Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station. At the moment, driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. Well, while other folk... And when we came back, we came with services. Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho, though. What do you sell? Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. So he sells repair kits, Rhino Cannon, the big cannon that fires high explosive shells. You mean where they grow these Truck fine rental. automobiles for our personal use? And Don't get cute. <laughs> Pretty good. Sorry. Anyway, I didn't know they existed until my pa told me to go down to this old man's farm. All right then, let's drive back to Ranger HQ. We can now give Kimmy an extra point in luck. So now she has plus four penetration at eight luck. Next, we'll do awareness up to eight as well. And now we have Todd at eight coordination and eight strength. We're going to upgrade his speed now until we get to eight as well. So here we are back in Ranger HQ and we've just got this notification. Now that we've got a full squad, you might want to kick someone out to make room for fresh blood. Talk to Sergeant Gretzky to manage your squad and recruit new rangers. Okay then. So it's probably indicating that this old ranger friend of ours may be joining our squad. Oh, I think this is him over here actually. Hey, who's in charge of here? Let's have a chat with him. Got a proposition for you, Ring. You're the CO around here? Huh. <laughs> okay. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. Who are you? Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. Synth hunter? Could be useful. What do you want? After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ. Then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again. So we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. $150. Not that much. Synth is called October 11. 
Yeah, let's ask him about synths first. Jesus, you're not one of those, are you? Fucking simps are always talking about how synths are sentient. They have feelings. Bullshit. That's how they trick you. Synths are just top-grade robots. What makes them dangerous is that every one of them has a little piece of cochise in their electric brain, like a virus. And if you leave them alone for too long, that virus spreads. And pretty soon we have the goddamn robot apocalypse all over again. Hmm. Not on my watch. We cap them as soon as we see them. Don't give them a chance to talk. I don't know enough about this to really be have an opinion on it. And I'd rather not just go in there guns blazing. Tell us about Cochise. Are you kidding me? Cochise is the ranger's greatest enemy. A supercomputer that almost exterminated them twice. And which built an army of synths to kill every last human on Earth. Rangers aren't training their recruits at all these days, are they? <laughs> oh dear. I'm so sorry, guys. That synth is called October 11. Yeah, no idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caved some sieves on their way here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Oh, so they are evil. Unless there was something more to that. Eleven is a stone killer. Gotta be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. How will killing this October 11 help us find the others? All synths got a radio in their heads. Let's them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You want to go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. Why did Daisy ban you from hunting in Colorado Springs? We cornered Eleven downtown and tried to take it out quietly. But there was a snafu and we had to open fire. Shot up the street, wounded some sieves. Silly bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the synth. Acted like we were the problem and sent us packing. Fuck her. <laughs> hey now, that's my ex-boss you're talking about, Hoss. Lucky you quit then. She's a frag candidate for sure. I like this guy, he's a dick, but I like him. <laughs> okay, we'll add this runaway synth to our list. <laughs> add it to your list? Ought to be your top priority. Screw you, dude. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Squad, at ease. I'm genuinely interested to find out who it is. We've got this cyborg chicken there, so before we do anything, I want to run down here to the chicken coop. By the way, guys, other locations do exist in the game. I just haven't explored them because I've been so stuck in doing all the content in the starting area. Let's talk to this cyborg chicken. This chicken appears to be outlining the boundaries of a fight ring in the ground. They are conferring over a mathematical equation. The grand question, what is two and two? So essentially, once we collect all the chickens, I think they're gonna have like a massive battle. I think that's actually what, oh, Private Moise, who's this? Oh man, this person, yeah? Here to serve. Oh, this is a new recruit. All right, so before we do anything else, let's quickly have a look around our headquarters. Wow, it's buzzing now, it's actually alive. Oh, delivery, okay. Let's have a chat with this guy. Glad to see you back, Rangers. Cleaned up the worst of the mess in your absence. Diligent Joe came by with the supplies you asked for. Should help us get on our feet. Any time, Rangers. Always okay. happy to tell war stories. Only free health hypnos. Okay, free medic packs, that's good. That's not too bad. Ranger HQ Med Bay. You've unlocked the Med Bay. Here you can shop for medical supplies. You can also speak to the doctor and get free health care, including restoring any incapacitated squad members. That's really good. Hi, Rangers. Thanks again for letting me work for you. This is so exciting. Glad to have you. Are you enjoying the work? I... I am so happy. I'm learning so much. All my life I wanted to be a scientist. But all I could do was read the books and dream. And now I can actually do things. It's incredible. I hope he doesn't get crazy. What do you think of Doc Parker? He's wonderful. He's almost as smart as Dr. Finster, but without all the, um, you know, evil. <laughs> can you claim one of us? Uh, yes, theoretically. Oh. I can have the machine take your genetic material and run the process. Uh, but, um... 
no guarantee what comes out the other end. I did make a few tweaks to the process, though, so whatever it is, it probably won't be so angry. Probably. Wow, that's so interesting. I won't do it now. That's probably a good idea. Let me know what you guys think. Because I've already, like, split the squad into, like, being skilled into everything, so it doesn't really make sense to clone someone, but we'll see. What are you working on? A clock radio shovel. The ultimate inconvenience. Oh, dear. Thanks. Thank you, Rangers. You saved my life. And this is the Doctor. Hey, Rangers. I'm here at last. Uh, it'll take a while. But I think I'll be able to make an actual surgery out of this place. Just need to call in a few favors for equipment and supplies. If you need treatment now, well, I think I'm ready for that. What do you need? I think we're good, actually. Fine. Just don't get shot up out there and make more work for me. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the armory, because it looks like people are working there now. You've unlocked the armory. You can come here to shop for new weapons and armor at discounted rates. We have an understanding. Didn't we get a little squeeze for looking the other way at Little Vegas? Yeah. And didn't we get some compensation every now and then if we needed a witness to disappear? Uh-huh. So why side with the Dorseys? Why put us in the position of having to do something about it? Is he crazy or what? Ooh, my god. 12 energy cells and 10 shrink grenades. It's very good. Speak to Delgado about buying something. Man, I never thought I'd be in a position to thank outsiders for saving my life. But here we are. I don't know what Brigo intended, but, well, I'm guessing you saved me a lot of pain, so thanks. Anyway, Sheriff Daisy asked me to set up an armory for you, get you situated, so I'll get started on that. Want to see what I've got so far? Oh yeah, for sure, man. Especially if it's free. Happy to. Take a look. 10% discount. This is an energy-based sniper rifle. It could be good to give Kimmy two versions of sniper rifles. I might consider getting this. $490 though, goodness me. Alright, we can actually upgrade our car in the garage too, so let's have a go at that. Stock chassis, weapons, mortar, armor plating, AI module, utility, appearance, hood ornament. We have a hood ornament. We have a choice of two, the disco bot or the wolf skull ornament. Kind of like the disco bot to be honest, it's quite fun. And then the horn we've just... You can actually change the horn. The sound effects too. Fantastic. Right, let's go and check out our prison and see what's going on down here. Oh, come on, uh, I know you don't like the way I've been treated. Can you help me get out of here? I do not like the way you've been treated, but you're directly responsible for letting the Dorseys into the city. I wish to have a dear. Fun break with me, dear. And if Aaron Bragg would jump off the bridge, would you jump off one too? Huh? Never mind. <laughs> Just be glad that you're what do you think? Scrubbed up nice, huh? What can I do for you? How are the prisoners? Isaac and his friends have been no trouble. I know they acted remarkably stupid, even by the metric of hot-headed teenagers. But now, they see the error of their ways. Them being here, instead of bleeding out among the rocks at the garden, or frozen on those nightmarish pillories, is what true justice looks like, Rangers. True story. Someday, we'll be able to let them out and they will spend the rest of their lives working to better Colorado. Goodbye. Good luck out there. Good to hear. Okay, so we've just got to wander around until we find this synth. Just wander around and see where the radio gets triggered. Radio faint static. Okay, so we're hosser over there. It sounds like it could be coming from the museum, guys, so let's go ahead inside there. Oh, yeah. Chirps and buzzers. Okay, so I reckon our suspect could be in here somewhere. Came here for every class trip we ever had. Is Buchanan a man? No, stop it, Lucia. I think it could be one of these animatronics, like, disguised. I wonder if there's one out of place somewhere. Oh, modern communication sounds. Okay. But does that mean it's one of these? Which one is the question? So, I wonder what happens if we shoot it. I genuinely have no idea, so here goes nothing. Oh, this one has 8 armor, this one has 10. 
There's one. Oh god, I did not mean to shoot Todd. I am so sorry, Todd. Jesus. Okay, let's go ahead and attack this one. No! Leave them! They don't even have brains! Oh, here we go. Why are humans always killing things? Friends, defend yourselves! Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, look at this, this is crazy. Jesus. Please do not shoot the exhibits. Oh, we're so dead. We are so dead. There's no way we can do anything here. Oh my god. We were so not prepared for this, guys. We're so dead. Wow, the cat is destroying this person, though. Well, the cat just killed someone. Holy moly. Okay, I'm actually going to quick load because, my God, we are getting destroyed there. Oh! The, om the animatronic figure is dressed like a marshal. Nothing differentiates it from any of the other figures in the display. Okay. And yet your radio is picking up weird noises from this spot. Just the sort of digital transmission that should be coming from a synth, according to Gary Wolfie. Is your name October 11? Nerd stuff 4. Use your radio to create feedback on the synth's broadcast frequency, which should stun the synth. Uh, let's do that, why not? With a few tweaks, your radio admits a strange oscillating screech. As it grows louder, something at the base of your synth's neck pops. Its eyes swivel to meet yours, but it can't move any other part of its body. What, what did you do to me? L let me go! Is a child's voice. Easy now. Don't be hasty. We want to talk. Ha! We knew it. What are you doing here? Destroy the synth while it's incapacitated. No, no, no. I think we should definitely talk. I, I want to know, like, in this world of Wastelands 3, what the actual storyline of the synths are. And if it's kind of like in, you know, other games I've played where some of them are good, some of them are very bad. We don't know yet. Tourmaline... Tourmaline says we shouldn't talk to humans, but but I don't want to die. Of course you don't. So let's just make this easy. Can we ask you some questions? I I guess. What do you want to know? We want to know more about you. I don't even know much about me. I haven't been alive for long. Who are you? My name's October 11. I'm from Arizona. At least that's where we started. Why are you called October 11? It's... it's the first thing I said. That's what Tourmaline told me. I woke up and I said it. October 11. I know it's important because it's always in my head, but I can't remember why. Maybe that's when she detonates and kills everyone. Why do you sound like a kid? Tourmaline says I was made to trick humans, but I got put in the wrong body. I should be in a little body. Then no one could guess what I was. I could be safe. Who put you in that body? Another synth, I think. I don't remember. The first thing I remember is waking up with Tourmaline in a house. We were hiding. I, I'm calling it now. I reckon that as soon as it gets to October, like she's putting in a baby body, and as soon as it gets to October the 11th, she just detonates and yeeks anyone who's near her. Tourmaline says we were together for a while before that. But that's as far back as I know. Let's ask you something else. Okay. How did you get to Colorado? We fled across the mountains from Arizona. It was just Tourmaline and me, but we picked up signals from... from others like us. We thought maybe we'd find a safe place. Who is Tourmaline? My protector. Another synth like me. We got separated and... I'm on my own now. We heard that you and Tourmaline killed some people. Was that true? Tourmaline called it preemptively defending ourselves. Oh. All humans want to kill synths, so we've got to kill them first. It's a matter of survival. Oh dear. I don't want to be turned off. How did you end up in this museum? Some human hunters came for us and we ran. There was a fight and I... I lost Tourmaline. I couldn't go back. They were chasing me. So I hid here. 
You can't stay here forever. What do you intend to do now? All I want to do is get out of here and find some place better to hide. Somewhere far away from this city. Will you let me go? Are you going to kill people? If they find me, I'll have to kill them. If humans know where I am, they'll hunt me down and turn me off. Where's Tourmaline? I won't! You'll kill him if I do! Anyway, I'm not really sure where he went. If the thing is, if we find Tourmaline later, he'll be pissed if we've killed her. However, the other guys will be annoyed if we've let her go and they can track her down. I wonder what happens if we arrest her. That would keep her safe. I feel like she'd get caught by the synth hunters if we didn't arrest her. And that would be like the middle ground, I reckon. No! Never let them take you! That's what Tourmaline says. I'll break out before you can put your fingers in my brain. I'll kill everyone else there! You've got two choices. Let me go or kill me. God, okay, okay. We'll let you go. Your best bet is to dress up like a refugee and sneak out of town. Just don't open your mouth. Let's risk it. Thank you. I'll leave as soon as my systems reboot and I find some better clothes. Goodbye. And now I'm going to go back and tell Wolfie that it escaped and he'll be like, what the hell dude? And I'll be trying to explain myself, so let's see what happens there. Find that synth in Colorado Springs yet? Lie, we fought it but it got away. Yeah, but we let it go. Not yet. I'm gonna lie. Got away? It was one synth. Did you even try to kill it? You realize when Cochise wakes up again and wipes out the last of humanity, it'll be your fault. Pack up, squad. Seems like the Colorado Rangers are just as pussy as the ones in AZ. <laughs> Race traitors. Race traitors. He's so extreme. But we leveled up, so that was worth doing. I'm very glad that we chose that option. I mean, if we kill them later, if they try to kill us, maybe it will lead to something even worse, or maybe they'll figure us out that we lied. Who knows? But I'm kind of happy with the decision we made there because it leaves it open so that we can potentially help them in the future and we don't just make immediate enemies of them, which I like. All right, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. But next episode, we actually get a radio shout from Lucia's uncle. And it sounds like he might be looking to betray the patriarch. So we'll see what he wants. And then we actually will go out and adventure in the wasteland because we just haven't yet. But I kind of want to be given like a proper reason to, you know, I want to have a quest that leads us out there. And so far, all these side quests around the city have been so engaging and interesting. I'm kind of just now wondering what our choices, you know, when our choices are going to have a consequence. And I know for a fact from what the developers tell me, they will at some point. And it's going to be really interesting to see when and what that is exactly. But so far, I think we've been playing quite a, a mellow playthrough and making everyone happy and not really choosing a side too much yet apart from maybe sub diverting a lot of people away from the patriarch but let me know what you guys think in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video as usual and guys thanks for all the comments likes and whatnot on these videos i really appreciate all your support as usual thanks so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow goodbye and have a great day